Welcome back to the Amy Kardashian and the Expert Show where we bring some of the top experts in the world to help you transform your business and personal life. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we bring inspirational stories to let you see your life in a different perspective and that will help you to shift your life towards a uplifting hope, inspiration, and you start to see your life in a different way. So I am your host, Amy Kardashian, not, not Kardashian. Kardashian, and I am your co-host, Stephanie Thompson. I'm a classically trained singer-songwriter. Well, in this segment, this is the third segment of four segments, we have Joan Peck, and she is here going to talk with us about a lot of things, but she's going to talk about why AA doesn't work for some people, although it works for a lot of people. Oh, it does right. work yeah. for a lot of people, and yeah. we, we, have, we have so much uh, respect for, for that organization. We're not saying anything against so we're saying, how can you make it work? Or some people, if they walk away, it doesn't work for them. What can you do to make things work for, for your life? And again, this is one of the things. Um, I, uh, uh, John, she's an expert because she's been through it with her son. She will talk about that more. But we bring people who really know what they're talking about mm -hmm. and really studied and, uh, and all that. And John, how many books you wrote so far? Four. Four I'm books, and my she fifth is one. a great editor. If you're looking you. for an editor, you just don't don't look anywhere else. Uh, John Pact is the one to connect with. She's an awesome editor. But now we want to talk about your subject. Yes. Well, I uh, wanted to talk about why uh, AA doesn't work for everybody. But uh, more than uh, that, and, and I really did it so it would catch people's attention. Mm -hmm. AA is probably one of the best, if not the best, organizations that was ever formed. They followed the Oxford uh, formulation that was in the early 1900s. Okay. And it's where they already were, be, were teaching how to do self-evaluation and to do amends and all of that. And it was in 1934 that Bill White and Bob Smith really got, uh, began to get the roots of AA. So AA is extremely important. Mm -hmm. It has helped so many people and it, it has sure saved did. many lives. Yes. But mm -hmm. what I wanted to do is look at it in a little different way and I'll tell you why. After I wrote my book, Prime Threat, Shattering the Power of Addiction, I began to read it again. And something just caught my attention, and it didn't quite sit well with me, uh, only because as we've grown spiritually, you have, I have, you have, sure. we all begin to understand energy. Sure. That we are nothing more than energy having a human experience. Mm -hmm. Then the next step is to realize how powerful that energy is, is. with every thought, word and action. Mm -hmm. So I thought if you didn't mind, I'd read no, what I really got me to <laughs> thinking about how I wanted to say and expand our minds to look at addiction in a little bit of a different way. Okay. Not taking anything away from okay. the organization yes. AA. It's uh, when it says, how do you explain addiction? I asked the question to Jay, my son who is on the other side. And he says addiction about, is about getting stuck. Mm -hmm. Think of a hamster on a wheel going around and around. All it takes is just one split second of awareness to come out of addiction. The way we look at it now is we think of it as being 20 years of alcohol anonymous. Mm -hmm. Because of the intensity of addiction and our choices, we have outgrown that aspect of it. If we can only realize that it is not a great big great effort that we're going to have to stay sober and fight it every second of our life for the rest, rest of our lives, who is going to want to face that? What we are finally beginning to understand is that it is a split second choice here, a split, split second of awareness there. It's being nice to ourselves. It is shifting that split second at a time where we lighten up. We no longer look at it as an addiction. We look at it as a chain of choices. Mm -hmm. Addiction means that we are stuck, that we have to fight and struggle. Chain of choices means we choose differently. And now you start to believe different. Mm. Yes. Nice. So Very nice. when I think of, and I've been to AA, I've been to Al-Anon, 
and I was uncomfortable there, I will tell you that. Uh, my uh, friends and, and uh, different family members are involved in it, and it has been so successful for them. Yeah. And they enjoy it, they're comfortable with it. And I had to look at myself, because that's what it always takes, sure. looking at myself. Mm -hmm. And um, why was I uncomfortable? And I thought, when I say my name, hi, I'm Joan, I'm an alcoholic. It was the word alcoholic that I didn't like. I, didn't, I know I am more than that. The word I am defines me. Mm -hmm. So I didn't want to be defined as an alcoholic. Okay. I wanted to be defined as Joan. Mm -hmm. I have an addiction to alcohol. Oh, okay. But you still said addiction. You still agree exactly. to say addiction? Exactly. But I have it. It's like if okay. I had cancer, I don't say, hi, my j name is Joan, I am cancer. cancer. Yeah. It's, hi, my name is Joan, a person separate entity, m I have cancer. Yes. Right. Then there is a sense of freedom of how to eliminate it. Oh, okay. Yeah, there is you hope see, it's, it's not becoming one anymore. Yes. There, you're I, the bigger picture and then there is something that you need to get rid of. That is correct. So instead of being, this is me. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, and that's, we, that's and a different way of looking at it. Yeah. And, and, and then so for simple. some people it's working for them, which is good, which is 20 some years I hear some people and mm -hmm. I inspire, I, I really, they inspire me, honestly. They're, mm -hmm. they're, it's very mm -hmm. good uh, program to help people like you were saying. Oh, we're not against that, but. It's a fabulous for the program. the people who doesn't work, like right. y it didn't work for you. It means I still, way. I yeah. still have the addiction. Yeah. It's just how I approach it. It's how again perspective. It. Sure. And one, one thing that I get so excited about is the, the really uh, getting into understanding energy that we are and how to use the different words, how to use the different thoughts and how to use the different actions. Okay. We are in a crisis at this time mm -hmm. with our kids uh, and they have lost 50% of the teenagers in AA and uh, it's not because of what I'm saying or uh, the program itself. We know there's a larger issue. But we need to grab those kids. Yes, yes definitely. Yes. So before we uh, go out of time, we have one more segment with you. Yes. And if you're watching this one on, um, uh, you know, anywhere in social media, you want to watch all the segments, all the uh, episodes that we have, you can go to mm -hmm. akexperts.com to watch everything we recorded so far. But before we leave, uh, to go to the next one, can you give them your website? Yes, my website is www.bejeweled7.com. So it's B E J E W E L E D, the number seven dot com. It, it's amazing. I, I'm I'm so glad to have you here. It's just making people look at things in different perspective, mm -hmm. right, Stephanie? Mm -hmm. It just Absolutely. makes you think about it. Makes you think about it. Yeah. You know, yeah. and if it's yeah. working for you, good. Don't change anything. Right. Exactly. If right. it's not exactly. working for you, right. then we want it to work for you. So mm -hmm. maybe you could look at it that way. And uh, I'm sure you're enjoying uh, watching this. That's why you're still with us. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.